had a fabulous weekend. We loved seeing your Secret Life of Pets videos, they, uh, pictures. They were amazing. So thank you to everyone who sent them to us. So we've got lots of treats this week. We think you're going to really love it. So we had asked for suggestions and one of them that came back was a toadstool. So here's our toadstool. Let's get drawing. So I'm going to start with my bit of warm-up paper here, just getting my arm nice and warmed up. When you're drawing, it's really good to just think about how you're actually drawing by thinking about lines those nice straight lines think about curves in circles and really really important I talk about this every day but that's because it's I've been doing this for years now with children hundreds and hundreds of children and the biggest mistake I make I see is holding the pencil too far down and pressing too hard so look at the difference between that and that it's the quickest easiest way to change how you draw so what I'd like you to be thinking about today when we're drawing this fairy is light lines and if I just turn this over we've got the basic shape is a kind of triangle but our triangle we're going to have these curves and it's much easier to do those curves when you're just pressing lightly on the sheet so for just a minute or two on a bit of scrap paper that you're going to put in the bin try drawing a line hard and soft try drawing a curve soft and a curve hard and see the difference and these soft, light, quiet lines, that's what we're going for in our drawing today. Got a lovely little scene here, a little toadstool, a fairy, magical toadstool, obviously, and a fairy. So what I'm going to do is start at the bottom, just go up a little way from the bottom here, and I want to do two little straight lines. Look how loosely I'm holding that pencil. Two straight lines there and then a line across. And then if we go up and put a little dot in, I'm going to do this nice gentle curve round. See how very lightly I'm pressing. And the same here. And that's going to form our toadstool. So that's the start of that bit there. Now let's go up. Up and in the middle and then off to this side here because we're going to put in the fairy's head. And what we want is just a nice, gentle circle, like that. So a little circle. And then I want you to think about taking this dress down on a curve. So it's just one curve to there. And then let's go out with another curve, lots of little curves here. And then going into there and we'll join. So we've got the circle and then we've got these three lines for the curves. And we're going to put in the little sleeve here like that. There we go. Just It's just like a bit of a semicircle and a line underneath. Then we're going to take the wings out here. One, two. So that's all our first shapes. If you pause now, we'll pop the first shapes in. So let's come in now. You've got all your, your shapes in and these are the ones worth taking your time on. The rest of it will come very quickly. And what we're going to do is we're going to put in our arms. So we've got just a little curvy bit there underneath for the bottom of her sleeve. And I just want you to bring out a really simple line round and down. And for the second arm, halfway between the head and the arm here, just bringing out two lines like that. And then we're going to have a right angle there and coming up here. So it's like an L. We've got a little L, capital L, coming in there. Now with a fairy here, what I want you to do is go to the top of the head and not quite in the middle there. Just coming down. I'm just sort of doing an upside down Y here. So you see, and we'll put in the start of her hair. We're going to go up and put a little shape there and then a fabulous big ponytail coming out of the top. Now if you want to give your fairy a different hairstyle you go for it because it's your fairy here. Well, that's what we're going to do with ours there and then coming down onto the toadstool a magical fairy toadstool has to be obviously because it's the rule red with white spots so we go like this and we're just going to put a few spots in you can put yours wherever you like 
And then underneath the final bit for this stage is we're just going to put in some grass. Just some bits of grass. Like that. Make you pause and pop those bits. In. Right now. We're going to just pop in a couple of little eye shapes and we're looking as if she's got her eyes closed there. Just two small shapes and the same shape exactly for her mouth. So we'll keep that really nice and simple. Let's just put in a few little lines here in her hair. So that's her face shape gone in. Now underneath, it's cut, we've got these kind of petals here which should form like a decoration on her dress. Just there. And I want you to pop in a little sleeve there as well. And on her hand, we're going to go for a little, on the end of her arm, just a little small oval there for her that will make her hand. If you come in here in the wings, we're going to put in some bits there. We'll take her little hand out here. And I'm going to give my fairy a magic wand. But you can give yours whatever you like. Here we go. Now I have to say at this point that I have got to say thank you to somebody for this idea because this idea came from a little girl called Lois who lives on the west coast on the south coast of England in um, between Hampshire and West Sussex so Lois thank you for this idea it was such a good one I'm going to go down here at the bottom so anybody else if you've got any ideas get mums and dads to send them to us on um, Facebook and we'd also really love to see your pictures so you can put your picture in the comment so we've got that curve there and then a little leg and a little foot coming out one two a little leg and a little foot there coming out and we're going to finish it off I'm going to finish it off with a couple of flowers so I'm just going to do a circle and then some shapes around it so thank you Lois for your idea everybody out there if you've got ideas of things you would love to do please send them and Elizabeth and I will try our hardest to come up with some designs so this is your fairy and if you want you can stay with us we're going to show you how to paint it um, or you can go off and use your felt tips or your coloring pencils whatever you've got <music> Watercolour pencils today. I'm going to show you um, how I'm doing that. I'm doing one of the ways, the most effective ways to use watercolour pe pencils is to do it on proper watercolour paper, which you can see I've got here. But also, we use our sketchbooks, our watercolour sketchbooks. Now, all of this stuff you can get on the Little Art School shop, uh, which is on our website. These pencils are just brilliant. I'm going to show you how they work here. So, we're going to very lightly use this touch of yellow here over her arms and her face. Can you see I'm hardly putting anything down because it's not an ordinary pencil, you see. It's actually paint inside this pencil. I'm going to put a touch of red. Oh, I'm being so subtle here with this. Just a touch and that's going to give it a pinky bit. Now I'm going in with my paintbrush here. And if you watch, as long as I've not got too much paint on, can you see that will turn to paint. So it's a really neat, easy, uh, very quick way of painting, actually, because you don't have to spend too much time getting all the equipment out. Um, here we go. So you can see that bit of red is turning to pink over the yellow. So I've got a kind of pinky yellow little arm there. And I'm going to do the same on her face. So the key is not to have too much. You really don't want too much water on your brush. Just a little bit. If you feel like you've got too much, you just get a bit of kitchen roll and wipe it off. So that's the start we've got in her face and everything. Now what I'm going to do, because I want that to dry, so I'm going to come down here now and I'm going to go around my toadstool. I'm going to go around the whole thing first. Now you can see how different I'm using this pencil now to how I was using it on the arms and legs and face. So there I was pressing lightly because I wanted a light colour. Here I'm pressing really hard because what I'm doing, what's inside that pencil is, is the paint pigment. And what I'm doing now is putting the paint on the page. I'm not even colouring carefully. I'm just getting 
the paint pigment down and I'm going to take my brush here, wet it, now watch, and it's with the brush that I'm going to be super careful, can you see? So with the brush I'm going round and turning all that to the paint. So they are absolutely great. They will work on, on thinner paper, but the key really is to get the best paper you can. Um, I always think with um, art materials, the market is very confusing because there's so much for sale out there. But what you're looking for really as an artist is pigment, which is what's inside the paint that gives it the colour. And the paper, getting getting paper, good paper that your that your paint will sit nicely on, and it makes the world of difference. Um, and we've been into schools and showed children how to this do this. We've been doing this for years now, and we know that good materials, and it doesn't necessarily mean expensive. It's just good materials make a massive difference to your finished work of art. So that's our little toadstool started there now. I'm going to go back and I'm going to work into her wings, I think, because I'm still waiting for those little colours to dry there. Elizabeth requested sparkle, but I have no sparkle. Glitter. She wanted glitter. It's true. I've got no glitter here. So what I'm doing is quite dully going around mine in grey. But just because um, Elizabeth's so disappointed by the grey, what I am going to do is very lightly put in a bit of purple there which will give them a kind of lilac feel I need to make sure this brush is really clean because i've been doing that red and if i don't so can you see the difference between how dark how dark the um red was on the toadstool here and how light the purple is and that is purely because i hardly put any paint pigment on so we get that lovely light colour there. So I'm going to go down to the bottom here now while I'm waiting for that bit to dry and I'm going to go in and put in my grass here at the bottom and then right as I put in my grass I'll turn that to paint and then we'll have a little stop so we can let these bits dry before we go on to our next bit. So I'm turning that to paint like that and then I'm taking it up. Can you see? And I'll get those lovely effects by just flicking my brush up like that. And there we go. Right, let's pop in her hair now. So I think we're doing her hair brown, but you can do whatever colour you like. She could have black hair or red hair or blonde hair. You do what Elizabeth and I are doing brown for a reason. It's because we've both got brown hair. I'll just turn that to paint there. Can you see? I want to keep a few of the lines in it. So I'm just going to turn it a little bit. And then I'm going to go round these little decorations here with my pink into the bottom. Elizabeth wanted me to make sure that you all know if you're going to put some well, she, we, all, we want to see all your pictures, but if you've got a bit of glitter and you're making your sparkly, she's very keen to see it. So make sure you send them to us on. I'm going to go in really hard there on the sleeve. Make sure you send them to us on Facebook. So I'm just going to colour my dress with the pink, making sure my brush is clean now. Let's go in. We've really had fun doing this, I have to say. We've enjoyed doing this little fairy. So thank you, Lois. What a super idea this was. We've had lots of requests for a few different things. We've tried. I hope you all enjoyed the cats and dogs we did on Friday. They were good fun. All right, that's the dress in. And now I am going to finish by giving her a couple, little purple pair of shoes there. I won't turn that to paint. I'll just leave that there like that. And I'm going to do a purple wand, I think. So there's our purple wand. I might actually do purple flowers too. Let's go in for a bit of purple here. So I'm just going around the flowers like that. But putting in a few petals. And I'll change it with my brush there really gently. 
some yellow in the middle here. Maybe we could give it a little stem and some leaves. And we're going to finish it off by going with the purple and I'm going to go around, but I'm not going to colour in. I'm going to do the same there and the same there. And just to finish, you can either use a fine liner pen, like that, or you can use black watercolour pencil and you'll get a slightly thicker effect there, but just to go over and really make these last bits shine out. And I've got one tiny thing that I forgot to put in and she's gonna, I'm gonna give her a purple bubble. And that is our fairy. Please send us yours, we really want to see you. You really liked that and we would love to see your pictures. Make sure you send them to us, Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, just on our social media, make sure you send them in. Tomorrow, we've got something very special and we've designed this for a school, which is really close to our hearts. It's called Newton Primary in Air. And um, we uh, know that at the moment they're collecting sunflowers for lots of the children who might not have gardens. So if you've got a sunflower and you live in the air area, a little sunflower in a pot, please take it on down to Newton Primary. And for all everybody out there, we've got this beautiful sunflower that we're gonna be doing tomorrow. Um, and it's for you, everyone at Newton.